morning, everyone. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and we are heading into another Flashpoint. So today we will be doing It Comes From The Rim. This is a two-star, three consecutive deployments, uh, Lost Tech Reward, 210-ton uh, Flashpoint against the Creed. Um, let me catch you up on what's been going on since we last finished uh, yesterday, which was God Mecca, um, we picked up an event right after we left God Mecca, uh, which was Purge Protocol. In this event, Sturm, one of our up-and-coming pilots, uh, decided that he was a fan of what he had heard in God Mecca and the Autocracy, and was going to take them up on his on their offer. So we talked, tried to talk him out of it, and we failed. So Sturm is gone. We also have killed four pilots over the past few months of game time, of the past month of game time here. And as such, we are running a little bit low. We have two of our original pilots left, plus ourselves, um, and that's it, really. So we have started training a new group of pilots, um, and that new group is right here. And so we have started. We have. We still have Archangel that we purchased, or that we found, or whatever, and Decker, and Medusa, and OBG as our normal four. Um, we have picked up Halo. Halo is one of our DPS pilots. He runs with the evasion perk, uh, plus one uh, extra evasion, um, and also the very important entrenched. Um, and then he also runs with Bulwark, plus uh, Cool Invent, and of course, nine tactics for called shots. Uh, Romello is a backup group, backup guy. Uh, Pigeon Commander? is the same as uh, Halo was. Uh, Shades is you. our missile boat guy. Um, he runs with uh, the uh, multi target, plus the extra initiative from Master Tack. Um, and Ready Stormcloud is our new melee pilot, um, and he runs with Master Attack to get our melee pilots going faster. This is primarily for use with the, um, uh, what do you call it, um, Grasshopper, to get him up onto Initiative 3 to get in there with, mix it up with the mediums, um, as well as Bulwark, of course, because it's super important. So, in addition to that, we have done some shopping. Um, and some fighting and some other things. We have grinded up our IE Expedition rep uh, to like so we can get this flashpoint. Um, and uh, we have in our shopping and our fighting, we have managed to finally acquire an archer. Uh, and we have configured this archer with uh, triple SR uh, LRM 15s, a bunch of ammo. Um, they, the archer runs with a missilery suite, which gives him plus LRM clustering. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference, but it's better than nothing, I guess, and it's zero tons, so that's good. Uh, we also given a plus three hit defense a, a gyro um, and our marauder. We finally found a Gauss rifle in the store, and we finally found Gauss ammo for it on an SLDF system. Um, and we put that in there with a large laser and an ER medium, as well as a plus three hit defense gyro um, or gyro. Um, and uh, the Wolverine, we have refitted into a LRM boat. He's just a smaller version of the Archer for lower flash points. The Blackjack is the same. And the Firestarter, we have been running across these melee mechs who are dropping these zero ton 10 damage melee mods. And I can fit three on an arm and that gives me plus 10 damage each. So that is plus 60 damage. Cranking out 105 damage melee from a 35 ton light is awful nice. In addition, I picked up these minus half ton MGs, machine guns. Um, and so they're zero weight and they're zero heat. And uh, they kick out, this one kicks out plus five shots. This one kicks out plus 50% crit. So that's awful fun. And of course the Coral S uh, with his speed works very well. Um, and so he's a very tough to hit guy. And we are ready to head in the two. It came from the rim. All right, this is a two skull, 210 max drop. 
Sumire says, We are receiving an HP Geoshed's transmission from Lord Corosus on behalf of the Interstellar Expeditions regarding the contract. I'll place it on the main screen. Mercenary Commander, I've been asked by IE to act as their liaison and representative. Your contract is simple. One of IE's collaborators has gone missing for several months while on a scientific survey of nearby systems, but he recently sent a distress call for a pickup due to pirate activity in Johnson's Reef. Your mission is to locate him and secure his expedition from any enemy forces in the area. And Commander, once you rescue Professor Bamboo... What a name. Tell him that after this one I consider my debt paid. I'll also advise discretion on this matter, since I isn't even sure if Professor Bamboo is still alive or even if regular comms are safe. You could well be walking into a trap. Alright. Plot. Spoiler warning. It's always a trap. If it looks like a trap, or might be a trap, it's a trap. I'm just saying, it's always a trap. While someone already seems to be on a Lost Tech Fool's errand, the question is if we'll be the one that's one's drawn into this black hole, besides as Professor Bamboo. Gets a little spookier. According to local sources, the area where he disappeared is controlled by a radical faction of the Creed called the Inheritors. Which worries me, because if the Inheritors and IE are after the same thing, we are going against one of the biggest factions in the periphery. Yeah, I've noticed their propaganda calling the periphery to a return of the Rimworld's Republic era and away from intersphere corruption. They have quite an influence in the Torian Concordance government and are heavily armed. Which sounds like a way to make us persona non grata across the Hyades Rim and live with crosshairs on our backs if we go against the Creed. I might actually like this contract despite my general aversion to Lost Tech since we'd be forced to leave this shithole. Come to think of it, why is IE so interested in whatever Professor Bamboo recovered? Look, Professor Bamboo is known to be a discredited pseudoscience fraud who sells conspiracy theories about unknown artifacts being discovered recovered across the periphery. Technologies like HPG gates for instantaneous mech travel across stars, or that whole universe is nothing more than a computer simulation run by interdimensional beings. Academically, he never actually presented any concrete proof of his claims, and is widely known to sell any lost tech recovered from his expeditions to the highest bidder. In reality, we're dealing with a treasure hunter and a public publicity artist, which basically says a lot about IE. It seems he cares about the Seabills first, so we have that in common. It should be at least valuable lost tech, despite whomever, whomever, whomever the owner is. I guess that covers all significant factors to consider here. Not so fast, Yang. If the professor decided to steal something from the Creed, then I'm worried about what, about what they may have found, since these guys' ancestors threw nukes at SLDF garrisons during the Reunification War. Yeah, we can also encounter aliens if you believe the tabloid Holovitz, Darius. Professor Murad already said the guy is a con artist, and it doesn't sound if he, if he, as if he was trying to steal a derelict warship. So whatever his expedition found, can't be that big. Most likely just an old SLDF dump that happened to be recovered by the Creed first. Honestly, I couldn't care less if Professor Bamboo was left to rot in a stinky periphery prison. But as Yank said, he's usually interested in items that can be carried and sold easily. So we shouldn't have any surprises at what he recovered or stole from the Creed. Well... I guess this discussion is done. We'll be up to the commander to decide whether to take this contract. We've covered all the bases here. And obviously we are taking this contract. And we are going in. And we are going in at 313 and 500k of C bills and our payout. And we are going in with our Wolverine. Oops, wrong guy. Wolverine and our fire starter to bring us to 210 and we will be bringing OBG in the Mirage and we will be bringing Decker in the Marauder and we'll be bringing Archangel in the Wolverine and probably Medusa in the Blackjack Medusa in the Blackjack and the main reason why I'm bringing the top guys is A, it's a flashpoint so it's hard, and B, they have 10 piloting, which gives them plus 3 hit defense on top of some gyros that I also picked up in Marauder and the Mirage. Um, they are looking really strong from a difficulty to hit standpoint, which really freaking matters. I'm just saying. So, we've got our LRM from the, from the Wolverine, we've got our UAC range from the blackjack we've got our headshots from the marauder and we've got 
the fast moving melee punching machine uh, that OBG himself is piloting in the Mirage. So let's see what happens here. As we already know, Professor Bamboo was a renowned Star League historian. Been able to reestablish contract contact has been asked for an extraction at a designated location. Once you rejoin, be sure to be sure you are able to assist him in destroying all inherited forces in the area. So I don't know what the over under is for number of lances that we're going to run into, but I'm sure that it's more than one. Let's just hope they come at us one at a time and we do not die. Because I really do not want to play this mission over and I have no extra mechs to put in here because exactly 210 is all I have. I'd be running three mechs if anything gets damaged here. So, we got a pickup point there, and we have a 35-ton mech there. That's it so far. Let's bring Roger. everybody else up. Moving to position. All right. So here comes a fire starter. So I could get to here, I could even get to here if I really wanted to, but what else we got over here? It looks like a 65 tonner coming that direction and a 45 tonner over there. So I really don't want to hit the building yet because that seems like a bad call. Let's go ahead and jump in here and go straight into the side. Alright, you did a good job on that. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Right. Now I let's cycle start. around so we stay away from what's coming. And send. Punching all the buttons. Alright. Here comes whatever that guy has, a whole bunch of missiles. Yes, Commander. Alright, you cannot get to that, but you can definitely get to here. And send. I copy. Alright. I need to get that torso off, probably. Alright, here comes that 60 tonner with a decent amount of 65 tonner. It's probably a thunderbolt. Yes, Commander. Alright. Let's bring you to here. Move order received. And let's go ahead and precision strike off that torso. Firing. Full compliment on enemy. There we go. Half of his stuff is gone. Oh, got the center torso too. Even better. All right. Enemy good job. Down. All right. So right now they have no vision on me. And the only guy up here at the top is OBG. He has a ton of evasion. So let's let them come in. That guy came over here. That's a 45, 65. And there's another guy somewhere. There he is. Thunderbolt. Dropping those missiles, running LRM-15, a bunch of mediums and larges, no special anythings. Okay. How the fuck does he fit a... That's a head. LRM ammo in the center torso. Receiving you. Well, since you have done that to yourself, my friend, I am going to do it to you too. I copy. And... Send. Affirmative. There it goes. Easy peasy. You put the ammo in the center torso, you get what you deserve. Alright. So now, let's go ahead and run you up here. Full throttle. And you got a Vindy. And one SIC Vindy. What is that? So. LRMs, heat sinks, small laser, jump jets. Never seen one of these guys. All right, kind of interesting, but I will be done. Let's uh bring you to here. I'm walking here. And send. Primitive. All right. Yep. Jumpy jump. Engaging jump jet. I copy. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. And let's go ahead and punch him from this side. 
Engaging physical attack. Structure. Right, he is really damaged up. And, uh, there's no point in doing that. I don't know if we can break him down or not when he's braced like that. Nope, we cannot. Oh, I could I could have done it on the, I could have central locked him down, but that's okay. He's gonna do nothing to the bike check. Good to go. Alright. Be down soon enough. Nope. Good to go. On my way. And he's on the ground. And he lost a leg. That hit something good. Alright, everybody jump on. Pogo stick time. Alright. Jumpy jump. So enemy max critical damage detected. And a heat sink. Enemy max critical damage Understand. detected. Onward. And Cry kill it. Havoc. He's out. Hope we can salvage that. All right. So now, back to our target. Rolling. All right. Out. We got enemies. We have a ghost back. Ain't no ghost, mercenary! You sure that I remain alive until my drop ship arrives? But, boss, that, that, that mech's invisible for our sensors, although visual still works. Quiet down, protect the fresher, and let's take these down these pirates first. All right, let's get these guys going on. We got that guy there. We got a 35-tonner coming in from that side. And he's going to here. So let's get you moving first. All right, what else you got out here, buddies? All right, so we got a 60, a 50, and a 35. Yes, Commander. All right, can you get a shot on anything? No. So you wait. All right, here goes our ghost mech, our death mask assassin. Standing by. All right, and now you have a shot. Get on up here. I'm going. And Panther with double inferno, small laser, and large laser. Uh, fire? Acknowledge. Decent little sand blasting yeah. there. Alright, move on up. And ascend. Okay. Alright, let's see what they bring over the hill here. Nothing. Commander. Alright. Go right here. On it. And let's see. Yeah, let's go center. Nice job. Nice hit right to the middle. Tango down. All right, here comes a Trebi over the top here. And that is a really good spot for you. Let's get you in there. And you are going to go ahead and precision strike that leg. All weapons committed. You didn't quite get it. I await your command. All right, let's get you, pull you over here. On the way. And go. Confirm. All righty. Mr. Assassin Ghost Mechie Boy is running. Did you just shoot something? I didn't know you could shoot. What are you running on that bad boy? Double smalls and a double a plus plus snub. All right. Ready for order. That looks like fun. All right, let's get you back over here. Confirmed. And let's go for leggies. Eat this. All right, 
here comes that 60 tonner over the... Oh, well, they found him! That is a rifleman that seriously overheated himself but needs Order. to die. Alright, let's go here. On the move. And you know how we deal with riflemen. You take a double PPC, double large laser, 600. On it. Oh, did that hurt? Yeah, I bet it did. Alright. Well, the Trevi's down and he's staying down. So let's see what we can do to this guy. Uh, let's go straight to the center. Engaging. Physical nice attack. structure. Probably center torso. Exposed? Nope. Now it is. All right. I'm receiving you. So this guy's gonna go on three. It says, even though he's knocked down, and this guy is going on less. So you have to go for the leg right now. And here it comes. Got it. And you put some LRM on what you're good use to. One less target. All right. Here comes our assassin. Receiving you. And bring you over here. You're going on one already. Good job. What's up, boss? And finish him off. Roger that. You do not need a double PPC rifleman get another turn. That is how people die. Target neutralized. All right. Two lances down. Is there going to be a third? Copy that. All right. Let's see what happens. All right. He's going to make it next turn. Stabilizing. Let's see what happens. Coolant system. And enemy contact. Oh, somebody's pissed at Bamboo. Captain is saying for you to power down his mech and he'll kill you quickly. Otherwise, we'll do it the slow way. Tell that weasel that he's too late. Professor, cut the chatter on comms. I'm extracting now. You go ahead, too. Run like a dog. Hold this position until the package is underway. All right. So, as usual... When you do an escort and they get to the get to the, the zone, another group pops up. So they said we had sensors. There they are, right there. All right. Let's get you in here. That's a 25 tonner. I think we're gonna go full sprint right into his grill. And another rifleman, this time with quad AC2s and two medium lasers. All righty then. And also something else coming from behind. All right, so let's go ahead and take the spot right here. Oh, there's a fourth one coming too. All right, so that's a fire starter. That's a lot of machine guns, buddy. A lot of machine guns you got going on there. Commando and a rifleman. So the rifleman is probably going to be our target. Actually, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to send one at each one. Strip off some pips and. Just spread the love around. Primitive. Just spread it around. Don't pick a favorite. Rifleman probably does need to die, though. I'm not going to lie, that rifleman probably... Oh, look at that. Unsteady on him who's in that. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And a Phoenix Hawk UNK. Commander. All right. So, let's jump you up here. And... We can take that side of that Phoenix Hawk off right there. Close, close, very close. All right, here comes that rifleman. I'm gonna shoot OBG. Why did you not shoot the rest of the stuff? That was weird. Standing by. But where's the Marauder at? He's way back here. Does he get any shots on anyone? No, he does not. That sucks. All right. The objective is secured, Commander. Where is our evac if we need it? Yes, fly away. Fly away. I want to see my evac. Yes, he flew away. Alright. Alright, 
so that guy got to go first. Oh, what? Did I get to move? That was weird. Alright. So, our evac is right here. But there's a whole bunch of bad guys in between us. Alright, let's go into this side of the commando just to keep our front up. Engaging nice center attack. tour. Whoa, what a shot, kid! Enemy mech Take destroyed. him right out. Nice job. Alright. He's coming around the side. He's still in the shaky areas. Order. And when you're in the shaky areas, you get the shaky shakes. Uh shaky shake for this fire starter. Firing all weapons. Boom 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 boom. Full bar. This just in. Put it down. And that Phoenix Hawk is gonna do something something something. I'm gonna still shoot at OBG. He's a tough hit, man. He might be the little guy out there, but he's a tough hit. Orders. You got a back shot now. Oh boy, that's good. Two back shots. On it. All right, so you can go back shot there or there. Let's go back shot on this guy right here. All weapon fire. Didn't take him down, but that was good. All right, rifleman's gonna do. Oh, we found shots on that one. Waiting for orders. Let's get you up here. And let's take this guy onto the ground. Got the left torso. Got the center torso. Nice, nice job. Alright. And then you, my friend, are gonna jump behind this guy. Right here. Engaging jump jets. And Let's make sure he's down. All weapons committed. He's down. Enemy mech destroyed. I'm ready. And over here. Uh, do we want to mess around with the riflemen? We probably can. Yeah, sure. Let's mess around with the riflemen. Uh, actually, you're not going to call shot though. Go ahead and do that. Do that. Nice. What do you need? And you are gonna call shot him. 18% to the head. Confirm. Did not get the head, but you got the knockdown. Ready for orders. And moving on moving up. Moving to position. Going for it again. Acknowledged. Didn't get it, but that's all right. He's going to get a stand-up penalty. Put him down again shortly, I think. And one little, one little swing ain't going to do nothing. Oh, no. oh, he doesn't file the AC2 every round because he wants a weather recoil. That's what it is. All right. All right, let's go ahead and DFA him. Warning, leg damage imminent. Not bad. Warning, armor low. Ready for orders. And Wolvie, put him down. See how you like this. Got that left torso, and the fall down will kill him. Reporting critical hit. All right. I don't know what we're going to do with a Rifleman UNK, but what the heck, we got one anyways. Alright, good run. All hostiles are down, and the Professor, and the Lost Tech Mech are safely away. And you're not done yet! <laughs> of course not. Rejoin me, there's still unfinished business with the Inheritors elsewhere. Alright. Successful first part of this Flashpoint. Good teamwork from the guys, everybody doing their job, working as a unit, and captured a Rifleman in the process. Maybe something else in there we want. We don't know. That's just my backup. Alright, 700k. Little bonuses here and there. 200,000 2, experience. Five kills. 
Alright, so commandos, fire starters, phoenix hawks, two pieces of a rifleman, one piece of a thunderbolt, uh, large lasers, medium lasers, plus one accuracy, medium laser is cool, plus five damage PPC is also cool, but not super fun yet. And that's it. So we'll take two pieces of that rifleman. We'll also finish off a fire starter and piece up, pick up a piece of that Trebi UNK as well. So that's a couple mechs into the salvage pile. Not bad, not bad at all. I don't know if we're going to ever use those guys. I mean, a rifleman is a 60-ton medium, which I don't really know that I really want, per se. So, whatever. Alright. Pirate rifleman. That mech is Pirate fire starter. Send those bad boys into storage. Alright. We will pick up here tomorrow with a part two of our Flashpoint. Thank you very much, everyone. If you have not already, please do like and subscribe. And with that said, OBG out.